Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at your Photos app. So let's just open that up. That's down here below our Photos app. Let's just open it up. As soon as we open it up, on the top left hand side, you guys will see all of this. So it should say library memories and so on. Right now, you guys could have it under imports or anything like that. Just select your very first option where it says library. Now, this can be up here or down here. It depends if you guys move this around. But anyways, most likely it's going to be the top left hand corner. Once we do that, if we want to delete every single picture from here, we can just press command A and delete them. If you would like to just delete one at a time, well, for example, I can delete this one. So I can just click on it and then press command delete. That will get rid of it. Or I can click on it and then I can just press with my two fingers in order to get that secondary click. Once I do that, I can just go ahead and select delete photo. So I can always select just delete one picture at a time. If I select that, it's going to give me this right here. So I can go ahead and delete it. Now, if you would like to delete a bunch of pictures all at the same time, it's even easier. Like I said, you can press command A, it's going to just highlight them all. Then we can just press command delete to delete them all. Or another way would be to go on the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see edit. So file edit, that's your third option. And from here, just select all, just press select all. And once they all have been selected, we can just go press command delete. So again, this will delete your entire library. So right now it's saying deleting items. There's a lot of gigs right now. So this will delete everything, everything, everything that will be on my Mac. So it will not take up more space on my Mac. Now, if you guys are doing this, hopefully you guys have a backup because it's just going to delete everything. And also, if you're running out of space, and this is the reason why you're doing this, I would suggest using something like Google Photos, for example. It's free right now. Hopefully, they won't change that later on. But right now, it's free, and it's been free for a couple of years now. So that's what I've been using myself in order to keep my pictures online for free. Now, again, Google Photos isn't online for everybody to see. It's an app that you guys can download in order for you guys to keep all your pictures there for yourselves. Okay. So nobody else can actually even take a look at those pictures unless you want them to. Okay. So it's not the same thing, Google photos, as you guys searching something online, then keeping them as a backup on your own Google account. So right now, depending on how many pictures you guys have or videos, this will take um, a long time or a very short time. So after just a bit, it should just refresh and it should bring you to this. So you should not see anything at this point in time. You should just say this, welcome to Photos app. And that's it. Because right now it's empty and there's nothing in our library. So on the left hand side, if we go through memories, people, places, recents, imports, my photo stream, everything has been deleted. However, to truly get your space back on your Mac, you guys do have to go into recently delete it and delete everything from there. So we're going to click right there. And here are all our pictures. Right now I have 11,000 pictures to delete. Same deal. All we have to do is go on the top right hand corner. We're going to see delete all. And this will actually delete them all forever. So we're going to press right there and we're going to get this message. It's going to say, do you want to actually delete them forever? And yes, we do. So we're going to go ahead and delete them again. At this stage, this is the proper way to do this. Otherwise, it's going to stay in your computer and you're going to see you're not going to see a storage difference unless you actually delete them like this. At this point in time, we should see a message like so. It's going to say erasing deleted items and that way we will not be able to get them back. However, finally, we're going to have space back on our Mac. So once it's finally done, we should see something like this. A white screen. There should be nothing here. So recently deleted should show nothing. We shouldn't be able to even click on recover or delete all since there are no pictures any longer right here. May also highlight on the bottom on our trash can, we shouldn't see anything there either. So don't worry about that. You don't have to empty that out because right now we are all done. That's how you guys can definitely delete any of the pictures right here on your Mac. The same goes if you guys have videos, same deal. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.